once we saw the new console up together with the new controller, my mind immediately started racing to what we can do with this in the, in the world of sports. And there was total shock and amazement, you know, from the team. I call it the Swiss Army knife of controllers. It does absolutely everything you could want. This new controller really revolutionizes the traditional pad. Connectivity, advanced graphics, an engaging interface. The ability to have asymmetrical gameplay. So one player can be doing one thing, while another player can be doing something else on the TV. A full console experience that's getting streamed. You know, I have a little head. My wife will be asleep, and I, you know, put in headphones and play a full like hardcore console gaming experience in bed on this, you know, on this smaller screen. That's a really revolutionary thing for me as a gamer. But it also means we can make uh, games of a sort that we were never able to make before. It's a phenomenal piece of technology. Um, it's a platform I think that's going to really revolutionize what's happening in console. Planning on putting Darksiders 2 on the new console at launch. Tekken 16 years of history, in which the Nintendo fan Suezuki is the first to be Tekken. Batman Arkham City is going to be on the new console. In Assassin's Creed, you can just imagine what the multiplayer will look like with multiple screens, and our Ghost Recon Online will leverage the fantastic connectivity of the new controller. You know, they really know how to keep us developers on our toes. It seems like Nintendo sort of heard the voices of the hardcore gamer. We couldn't be more excited to be able to bring the power of EA Sports to Nintendo's new console. It's not just uh, more of the same. It really is opening up a whole new world of, of gameplay. This is exactly what it takes to shape the future.